Hey guys and welcome back. So it's time to go ahead and start rebuilding the R1 here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fix these threads right here because they're stripped out uh, from the previous owners or something. Anyway, they don't work. So what I'm going to do is put a helicoil in to fix it. They're 10 by 1.25 millimeter. Um, so the first step, of course, is going to be drilling these out. This kit calls for a 10.3, 10.4 millimeter drill bit um, before doing the helicoil. Uh, well, before tapping it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill this one out here. Okay, so the next step, of course, is going to be tapping these. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that now. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a bit of WD-40 to help with the tapping. And go at it here. Okay, so that's one down. All right, on to the next one here. Okay, so now we've got the new threads ready and we're in start, uh, ready to insert the uh, helicoils here. So basically they're just little steel coils that thread into the outside and then the original size bolt threads into the inside. There we are. I'm gonna put just a bit of Loctite around the uh, threads here to keep it from moving. So this time it'll be a lot more gentle when I start it here. And be careful not to push the helicoil any with the tool here. Looking good so far. Here we go. So the first one's in. Last you come in with this little punch they provide and knock out that end tank. Okay, so now we're gonna get ready to thread in the second one here. Okay. So that's actually a better way to break these big ones off, just twist it backwards. Works a lot better. Okay, so now we're gonna install these Gila coils on the other side exactly the same way, without hopefully ripping the frame out of my hand. Okay. Um, it's time to go ahead and pick an R1 engine here because it's time to start the rebuild. Um, this engine here on the left, that's the one we rebuilt on the video mostly. The one on the right is the one I put the um, slipper clutch and 0708 transmission in. I've already ran it um, when I mocked the bike up and everything's good to go with that engine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one in this time and give it a try and make sure everything's good to go with it as well. So we'll go ahead and get the engine in place and start rebuilding the bike. Okay, so the way I like to rebuild these is in a very module way. Um, I think the easiest way from every time I've done it is to build the bike on the engine because the engine is the heaviest part. The frame is only a few pounds. It's a whole lot easier to put the um, frame onto the engine. The first thing I'm, I've done already is I have the, um, of course I have the fuel injector, fuel injectors off. You probably don't actually have to do that. They were just already off again on this engine. Um, and have to have the starter in and I already have the mat on just because it's easier to put it in like this. Um, but basically it's just the, the engine, base engine here. The only one to consider here is this one kind of goes up through there. Um, so you want to make sure that's in there from the start. There we go, everything out of the way. All right, so I've got to move a couple things on this frame first here because there's some screws in the frame. Sorry. There we go. Now you can see them, hopefully. 
there's two adjustable threaded areas in the frame. You can see I'm turning it right here. This is what takes up the slack on the engine um, when it's all the way in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw these in first. And also there's another thing right here and it's probably stuck, so I'll have to, no, it slid. There's a tapered thing right there that I pushed in on this part as well. So we'll go ahead and put the frame on now. Oh, and also I already have the uh, head race bearings in, the races for it. Like I said, that part's really pretty simple. It's not quite into place yet. It's a bit off over here. There we go. Um, and it goes basically just like that. So we'll go ahead and get the bolts here in now. Okay, so the first step, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the uh, main engine bolts in here. Um, just kind of loosely. I'll do this bottom one first. And you can go all the way through if you want. And then the top one's gonna go kind of the same, just right here. And now it's in as well. So now we've gotta go back to the other side. Okay, up next I'm gonna tighten up these um, adjusters, whatever you wanna call them, these little screws that mount up against the engine here. These are torqued down to seven Newton meters, so not very much. I just use a uh, big screwdriver thing to do it. I think there's a special tool technically. Okay, now I'm gonna torque it, try to anyway. So not very much torque at all. Okay, so those are torqued. Now I'll go ahead and push the bolts all the way back through and put the nut on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the nut on here on this top one, hopefully. It's gonna be a little bit fine because it likes to move. Oh, I haven't pushed it back in yet. So now those two are on and the nuts are on. Next, I'll go ahead and put the side bolts in here. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and install the, one of the bolts. Um, it's actually adjustable. You can kind of see it in there. There's one already, a reverse triangle, then there's this one that goes in next on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Just like that, then we got one on the other side also. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install the same thing on this side. Okay, now it's time to torque them down. Okay, so first you're gonna tighten the larger bolts to 51 Newton meters, starting with the lower one, and then doing the upper one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those first. Okay, then we'll do the upper one, same way. Okay, so now we've got those two torqued down. I like the new computer setup there, really helps out in the garage. Um, so then we're gonna do the one on the, the one on the left side, the 45 Newton meters, and same with the one on the right side, but do the left side one first, because it pulls it up against the frame. Okay, then we'll do the right side one exactly the same way. Well guys, it seems like we've had a thread failure. Wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna torque that down, just like the other side, now I got the helicoil on it. Okay, so that one's installed too. Okay guys, so the next thing to go in is actually gonna be the coolant overflow tank. It goes right here in this kind of mounting hole here. There's a rubber grommet that goes in first. Reason I put this in for the swing arm is just because it's kind of hard to get to. Um, you can put it in afterward, but I don't want to. So kind of, uh, you look at the, to figure out where this goes, kind of look at the bin that's already in it. There's kind of an S bin. And we know it goes up to the radiator in the front, so it's probably gonna go through right there, then S up on the inside right there. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. There's 
that's probably gonna go like that right there. Makes sense. And then it's just gonna have one mounting screw right here that I need to put in. Go ahead and install a uh, bolt here. Hopefully it's not too long. Probably gonna be too long. No, it's fine. So I'm just gonna snug that up. Um, no need to torque stuff like this. So that's installed now. Um, this, I believe, just kind of runs right down here. I'm not sure why this one's so long. Right about there, there we go. Okay, so that's more or less installed now. There we go, and then you can still take it off and fill it. Watch that out, huh?